Ah, uh, the Wii. What's that? I haven't talked about you enough. Aw oh, man, the Wii was awesome. You can check the weather, the news, play online with friends across the world, voice chat, viewing images, grill off with Ultra Hand, messages, me's. Wait, go back seven words. Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at Grill Off with Ultra Hand, a Club Nintendo WiiWare exclusive title that released in North America on March 31st, 2010. Now, you might be wondering, what the hell's a grill, what's an off, and what's an Ultra Hand? And I'm well equipped to answer one of those. The Ultra Hand, it was designed by the legendary Gunpei Yokoi back in 1966. This toy was one of Nintendo's first runaway successes. And in 2010, you could chill out any coins on Club Nintendo to play with it on a Wii. For the uninitiated, Club Nintendo was a loyalty program that I never got to use for some reason. I had so many games with the stupid insert. Why? Whatever. Back to this thing. Grill off with Ultra Hand is a grill off with the Ultra Hand. Gee, I never would have known. Obviously, with it being so cheap and a WiiWare title, you can tell that there's not a whole lot going on. However, the presentation of the game does not suffer from this. It's a good looking game, very Nintendo y, and I like it. Now, you're probably asking why would they pick a grill off to be the premise for this game? I don't know. What, do you want a grill normally? No, that's for pussies. What you need is an Ultra Hand. Truthfully, it's probably because the toy kind of looks like tongs, and probably because it was wacky. Speaking of wacky, the thing that stuck mostly into my mind about this game is the commercial. You know, sometimes you just turn on the TV and sit down and see something you never forget. That being said, it was more of an internet trailer thing. Sorry, neighbor, this game's available to Club Nintendo members only. <laughs> yeah, they were trying too hard. After that brief sidetrack, let's actually talk about the game itself now. On the main menu, we have one player and versus modes, tutorials for the both of them, and ranking. Also, <laughs> no options. The core gameplay remains the same between Versus and One Player, besides an added time limit and other small changes to make it competitive for Versus. Also, you'd be hard pressed to find someone who actually wants to play Grill Off with Ultra Hand with you, so I'll just be going over the single player mode. Ranking shows you the leaderboards, and tutorials are something I didn't bother looking at. So, this game is played with the Nunchuck and Wiimote. You're meant to squeeze them like you would an Ultra Hand. Not the most intuitive thing, but it's definitely creative. The stick on the nunchuck is for the left and right movement, and the squeezing is for the front and back. A is for holding on to the food. You release it once it's closest to you. Last B and Z are for speeding up the grills. Your goal is not to burn or drop the food. You get more points for cooking it just right, and for larger foods. If you screw up once, then it's game over. This sounds super simple, but it's a game that's gone and captured me. It's arcade styled, and for whatever reason, it's addictive to me. Sure, it's not as crazy as others, but it's still fun. Not to mention, you can't really complain given its price point and limiting platform. While I personally have no problems with this game control-wise, with the many first and third party remotes and nunchucks I've used, many people claim that it just doesn't reliably work for them. So I'll have to take that into account. And hey, I'll be honest too, it's not perfect. Due to the weird hedge cunning movements you gotta do, it ends up hurting my wrists over time. And let us not forget the severe lack of content, with only the one mode being available to you in single and multiplayer flavors. But that at least is forgivable, cause you know, there's explanations for that. Now during this recording session, I gave it a go to see if I could beat the highest score. Damn, I wasn't even able to beat my old highest score. Well, I tried, only a total loser would have the time to beat Grilloff's highest score.
this only takes like five minutes to do. Final verdict. I give this game a competent 7.5 out of 10. Very small game, but still very fun. For what is essentially free, especially with how you have to get it now, chaining combos in the fast quick pace keeps me intrigued. But with it relying on motion controls, I can see how that and a really quick and accurate pace don't mix. Well, there you have it. My review of Grilloff with Ultra Hand. Now, not a beefy title by any means, that's for sure. But you essentially got it as a bonus. So, as a bonus, it's pretty fucking good. I don't know, I had fun with it, and it's definitely fun with a partner. Sure, there's a bit to complain about, but realistically, I've never had trouble with the controls, even though some people do. I don't know. It's always worked for me, even with third-party controllers and everything, so... Take that for what you will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get back to my alone time. 